What's up, what's up, y'all? I am back for another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this gown that I recently did for my client's photo shoot. So if you guys love this gown, stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to make it. Alrighty, so here we're gonna do very similar to what I did with uh, my robe, my last video. We're gonna go ahead and cut our uh, tool down into smaller sections I think I maybe did seven inch sections but it's completely up to you you want to cut our tool down and just gather all of that up alrighty so here I'm just cutting out my sleeve it's no set way I'm just like free cutting basically so um I measured the length, if you can see me now, I measured out how long my client's sleeve needed to be from uh, her underarm to her wrist. And so that's basically what I cut out and I just gradually brought it out. I started it a little bit smaller at the top and then just kind of shaped it a little bit wider at the bottom to kind of give uh, that effect. But that's about it. Alrighty, so here I don't know exactly what the terminology would be, but I hemmed it about an inch from the edge. So we folded over um, the bottom of the fabric and I sewed about three fourths from the edge, but the hem itself was about an inch. So that gave me a little pocket at the bottom that we could feed our elastic through if that makes sense. Alrighty, so making sure that we do not sew over our little pocket, we are going as normal and we're just going to keep sewing our tool on top of that sleeve, um, making sure not to have too many big gaps between. So sew it pretty close just to make sure that you don't have any holes. But um, yeah, we're just going around and we're just sewing a bunch of lines with our tool. Alrighty, so here after we've sewn all of our tool on, we're going to fold over our sleeve and we're going to sew it just like our normal sleeve. So as you can see, I am just folding it over right sides to right side and just sewing down that side seam. Now while sewing down this side seam, I'm still making sure that I do not sew closed my loophole so that loophole that we made at the top of the sleeve we're still making sure that we do not sew that closed because we're going to need to feed our elastic through it if that's what we decide to do so i know y'all ask a lot to see how i make the patterns so i'm going to attempt to explain this it's a little ghetto like um so just pray for me, but we got the end result that we were looking for. So I have a basic uh, bodice pattern, or a full dress pattern, not a bodice pattern. Um, and we're just gonna go in and add her measurements. Excuse my little baby Stella, but uh, we're gonna go in and we're just gonna add her measurements to this. Now, we're not gonna need the full top of the pattern because we're doing a tube number. So I just started, um, the pattern is basically gonna start right underneath her armpit and then we're going to gradually uh fade it up because she wanted it a little bit higher in the center and then a little bit lower on the side she just she didn't want just a straight across tube so we're gonna go in we're gonna do that and then after that we're gonna just go and cut up panels and then after that we're gonna go in and i'll just explain what we're doing later
So this is me just kind of making it, like I said, a little bit higher in the center area and lower on the sides. Um, like I said, with the client, I ended up having to go back and adjust it in the middle and make the middle just a little bit lower um, because it was kind of high on her chest. But other than that, the pattern pretty much worked perfectly. So as I said earlier, this pattern is a little ghetto, but it got the job done. So as you can see here, uh, I am just drawing out those panels just so we can have uh, different pieces and we'll be able to get a little bit closer. Um, I did not have a ruler. So again, me being ghetto, finding something with a straight edge and I'm just kind of like tracing out uh, our line. Alrighty, so here we are just tracing out the pattern piece for the back. So as you can see here, I'm just going and tracing down the side with her measurements. And the only difference is the back, as far as the back, the top will go straight across. Um, now later on in the video, you're going to see why I ended up cutting the back down and making it a lace up. Um, that probably is something you would want to include in your pattern, but it was kind of like spare the moment impulse type thing. So um, I ended up adding it later on. Alrighty, so here, y'all know how I get down. I am just pinning my pattern down, and I take my client's measurements from knee to uh, floor. So we're just adding in knee to floor. We're going to just use that pattern that we had, and then we're going to measure out knee to floor measurements and cut that out. And now we are going in and doing the exact same thing for our panels for the front. Now you need to make sure that you're going to have four pieces. So as you can see, I pin one here, pin one on the opposite side, and I am just measuring from knee to floor and making sure that they meet in the middle. So this is uh, me cutting out my panels for the back, which is uh, my waterfall effect. Um, I have a whole video on how to do this. It did pretty well, which I'm very excited about. So um, yeah, just check that out if you want to see how I'm doing that. But right now, I am just going in and we're pinning all of our panel pieces back together. Alrighty, so this is us sewing up the back of the dress, but we're making sure we leave room for the panel and a zipper that we ended up not adding uh, the panel and then this is us adding the panel into the back of the dress.
Now here we are just sewing the front of the dress and the back of the dress together. So we're going to go ahead and just sew down our side seam. Now that we have her all sewn together, I'm just going in at the bottom and just evening out our pieces. Some were a little bit longer than others, so we're just evening everything out. Now here we are doing our favorite part, adding horse hair. When I said favorite, I was being sarcastic. I hate adding horse hair. It takes absolutely forever, but it has a beautiful effect, so we have to add it. <laughs> So I'm sorry for the horrible angle, I was just trying to hurry up and catch this on camera because I did not have much time before my client arrived. So as you can see, I just evened out the top of the back, made it a little bit lower. And I end up cutting a big chunk out of the back, just in a V shape. And that's where I'm going to hem it up and use that to be my lace up area. Now I'm also using this scrap fabric. Um, and that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to hem it up and that's what will be used for my hooks. So as you can see, like I am just using what I have uh, to make ends meet. I usually would cut like a long strip, just hem it all up and then use that as my hooks. But I left the extra fabric at home. So these are the only pieces that I had and it came out perfect. It looked fine. She loved it. So it wasn't noticeable. It just was a little bit more time consuming. Here we are just hemming up both sides of those loops that we created and then after this we're going to go in and pin them down that back area. So after fighting with this five ever I ended up taking out all of these loops. Now the loops were perfect, the loops were fine. Um, my problem was the hemming on the back of this so I ended up ripping out the threads um, and re-hemming it and what I've learned with this material um it's two options you're either gonna go in and iron it on a low setting and then hem it or um hem very very close to the edge because that's the only way to prevent it from rolling up so if you look a little bit later in the clip you'll see um that that's what i ended up doing when hemming her top i just hemmed it very very close to the edge And here I am just sewing my loops down. I'm just doing one big seam and we're just gonna sew all of those loop all of those loops down. Alrighty, so here I again I apologize for the horrible angle, but at this point my client was like on the way so <laughs> this is a video of me rushing to attach her sleeves um but as you can see everything came out great she loved it um thank you guys so much for watching my videos make sure that you like comment and subscribe and of course as always there is more coming very soon